When Days Gone crashes, do you get the error CE348780? If Days Gone has crashed and you're getting the CE348780 error, you can do the following. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, reboot your PS4. Make sure to restart the Days Gone game before you turn off and on your PlayStation 4 to refresh its system cache. Sometimes, this kind of problem can be fixed by starting the game over. If a quick game restart doesn't work, you need to power cycle the PS4 by turning it off, unplugging it from the power source, and waiting 30 seconds before turning it back on. Next, check for game updates. If you don't connect your PS4 to the internet very often, and play Days Gone mostly offline, make sure to check for game updates every so often. Next, install updates for your PS4 software. One easy way to fix bugs and errors is to make sure that you have the latest versions of your system software and games. After you've updated Days Gone, check to see if there are any system software updates you need to install. Next, delete and reinstall the game. If those solutions don't fix the CE348780 error, removing and reinstalling the game is the next best option. The following are methods for erasing Days Gone. Go to the PlayStation 4 home screen. Highlight the game tile and press the Options button on your controller. Select Delete. Confirm your action to uninstall the game. Next, rebuild PS4 database. Minor problems may be fixed by just refreshing the database. Follow these steps to restore the database on your PS4. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds to turn off the console. Once the console has powered down, press and hold the power button in front again. Make sure to hold the power button for about 7 seconds until you hear two beeps. The first beep should occur after you press the button and second after 7 seconds. After the second beep, release the power button. Once you've reached safe mode, select option 5. Press the X button to start the rebuild. Next, do a factory reset. If everything else fails, resetting the console to factory settings should eliminate the issue. To do this, enter safe mode and then choose option 6 initialize PS4 from the menu. New. Next, check the hard drive. If the hard drive was recently changed, then using the previous HDD or drive to see if it helps is recommended. However, if you haven't updated or otherwise interfered with your hard drive, now could be a good time to consider doing the complete opposite and purchasing a whole new one. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.